there you go. Check that out. Yeah. Uh, women. It is Thought Thursday, after all. Yeah. Reporter melts brains by asking pro-aborts if they think my body, my choice should apply to max, uh, vax mandates. This is just hysterically funny. Well, hang on, hang on. L- l- let's, just bring, let's talk about this for a second. Of course. Okay. Now, if you're like me, <clears throat> I'm a logical person. I uh, I look for the, lo- the the rules and the laws, and I I try to stay you know within the within the two goalposts of death and go to prison. You know, I kind of bounce between the two. But uh, this whole double standard thing, it, I mean, it is it is getting to the point where it's quite literally you have the socialist communists. <laughs> I'm not even going to call them Democrats anymore because they, they've totally lost any any of that semblance wow. of a... But the thing is, is they want all these rules for them, and then they want all of the bad rules to apply to us, and nothing crosses over. Well, that's, that's effinism for you in a nutshell. Oh, yeah. Is they want all of the, all of the perks, all yeah. of the money, all of the advantages, all of the power of being equal to men but they don't want any of the responsibility right. or accountability for they don't want to walk down the buffet line and be forced to take stuff they don't like like you know dying on the job yeah working at a you know disgusting job or, or maybe having to stay at your full-time job for 40 fucking hours like the dudes do yeah all right i mean they don't want that they want to like, heaven yeah, forbid yeah. i'm gonna go home and see my kids yeah. i'm gonna, I'm gonna pay my kids for daycare oh. I mean, if they didn't have delusional double standards, they wouldn't have any at all. Yeah. Yeah. Now, listen, if I had a business and there was a woman that w- worked there and, she, you know, she did her job and she performed and she needed to get her kid every now and again, I'd look the other way. That's not a big deal. Yeah. If you are if you are a nug in the organization and you are productive and you're making money for the company, I can look the other way for a few things. But if you walk in there with an air of entitlement, yes, right. that letting some loser blow one by the goalie somehow makes you special, you got yeah, another like, thing coming, yeah, figuratively, I, you, not literally. Yeah, you will let me out every day at, at 3 o'clock, and of course you're going to have to tear <laughs> down that room because I need to have room to, so my baby could come in here and suck on my titties <laughs> or I can milk myself. <laughs> uh, I'm like, uh, uh, how no. about no? Fuck off. (laughs) Oh, this is why we do Thought Thursdays, man. Chicks, man. Chicks, man. Chicks. Chicks. Listen to these chicks. This is hilarious. Or at least it would be if these people couldn't vote. What's important is bodily autonomy. The same right men have always had. We just want equal rights. Oh, okay. So a man so can, can slip one by the goalie and just walk away without any financial repercussions? Well, what about the draft? Yeah, there's that too. Like quite literally, they they, they go through your the social security numbers of everyone in a certain age bracket. They throw them into a database, randomizer, whatever. They pick your fucking name, and like, hey, congratulations for the next two fucking years, you're gonna get trained, equipped, and sent to a fucking war zone. Hope you make it back. And if you don't, we don't even give enough of, of a fuck about you to fly your carcass home. We'll just bury you in a fucking graveyard overseas. Yeah, totally makes sense. Yeah, yeah. yeah, totally makes sense. Yeah, men totally have bodily autonomy. Yeah, we, we have the same reproductive rights as women. Sure. Sure. Yeah, you keep telling yourself that you're oppressed when the entire establishment, and this goes for the confused poles and holes as well, when the entire lame establishment, media, government, when the UN consulates in different areas around the world are flying your bullshit overcrowded flag outside of their shit, when every major corporation has got your rainbow stuff plastered on the front page of everything that you're looking at right now, you're no longer marginalized. You're privileged. Accept it and fuck off. That's right. Well, we have the entire nation getting turned upside down for the benefit of one third of one percent of the gross population. Or if you extrapolate it to the you know to all confused poles and holes, not just the transformers, you're talking seven percent, maybe five to seven percent, yeah, five to seven percent. Yeah. And yet, that 5 to 7% is in virtually every piece of entertainment that I watch. And, and it's not even, uh, 
how should we say? You're not underrepresented. You're far it, overrepresented. Oh, yeah. I mean, listen, uh, I can't tell you how many movies uh, you know, that I've walked out on where you start watching the movie and there's like you know two, a gay couple, trans people. Uh, and a bunch of shit that you don't see on a regular basis. Yeah, and it has to be in everything now. Yeah, it's like it's like otherwise the, it's the not pop, it, tolerant. It, it, it's literally like a pop up greeting card. Yeah, you open it up. <laughs> oh, oh, and, even and, even Lightyear, the new Toy Story yeah. movie, oh, well, has, ha, has a lesbian kiss in it. From what I understand, didn't they get rid of uh, Tim Allen? Yeah, they got rid of Tim Allen. Yeah. And you know which countries are not going to be seeing that gay kiss? Uh, let's see, the ones that banned it. So the Middle Eastern countries, you know, the ones that Biden is begging to pump more oil for us, even though we could just reopen Keystone. Yeah, yeah. Oh, in China, of course, they completely omitted it from the film, and they admitted that it doesn't affect the plot in any way whatsoever. Then why do we have to see it? Exactly. Fuck you, Disney. That's Fuck right. you very and much. And you know what? I hope they, they're losing. What is their stock at? I don't know. Why don't you do a quick check? I think it's like 93 bucks today. Uh, 94.2. Oh, I was off by $1.20. Down 1.6. Uh, oh, yeah. Down from its 52-week high of 187, so it's by it's down by half. Yeah, it's lost 50% of its value. Oh, yeah, good luck there, Disney. You're, you're totally on a winning streak, if winning means losing everything. I hope they do. I am so sick and tired of this. They have that Listen, they have literally ruined families and children for... Basically, the past twenty fucking years. Yep. Fuck them. They need. They need to be run out on a rail. Mm hmm. Kiss my grits, Nooch. It's the right to govern our own bodies, just like men have always had. It's nope. that simple. Do you support the right for people to not get the COVID vaccine? It's irrelevant. Uh, what? Oh, wait, what? Oh, oh. What? What? It's irrelevant. Oh, totally irrelevant. Yeah. Body autonomy. Yeah, but I thought bodily autonomy was very relevant, and it's something that men have always had. But now it's totally okay in this one instance for no see, one to have it. But the thing is, is you, for a split second, you realize... She realized that she, she fu fucked up. <laughs> it was at that moment she knew she fucked up. <laughs> All right. right. My body, my choice. You're right. It's not irrelevant. Yeah, but one saves lives. Right. But she has... Not irrelevant. One saves lives. You're right. The other one kills them. Uh, all right, since we're on the uh, just saying, since we're on tubelage, <laughs> I'm not gonna make any comments. No, no, we're gonna, regards no. Actually, to... they they both do that, don't they? Yeah, one of them is going to be in a pandemic state, right? A state of emergency, which we all know laws change during a state of emergency. No, they don't you agree with the, the state. Um, no, no, they don't change. You can suspend certain things if you declare martial law. That was never declared. It was never declared. So it, fuck off. Laws do not change unless they're changed by the legislature. And they refuse to do that now because, you know, we just need a drastic power shift every time the person's, you know, the letter after their name takes this, office. And I mean, different. the thing, like, th what the fuck? One of the main reasons why everyone's all pissed off at the police is the police are enforcing this fucking horse shit that's coming from the governments. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's why I say defund the police and fund the sheriffs. The sheriffs are accountable to you. Yep. Yeah, you're right. Just saying. Statement or the, the principle of my body, my choice? Yes, absolutely. Bodily autonomy is a human right. Healthcare is a human right. No, it's not. No, it's not. Um, <laughs> access to healthcare should be, not be something that is dictated Stand by the by. Supreme Court. Stand by. Stop um, it right it's there. not, actually, because they legally cannot right. turn you away for <clears throat> All right, so uh, let, let's let, let's just dissect this for a second. All right, so say you're a medical doctor. On average, it's going to take you, what, 12 years before you can start putting fingers in assholes or whatever you do. <laughs> All right, and you're going to run up like a million dollars worth of, uh, you know, debt. All right, so the doctor's got to work to pay off this debt, but yet they want him to work for them for fucking free. Yep. Okay, that's called fucking slavery. Mm-hmm. So guess what? Yeah, granted, I I understand. I understand. You're sick. Shit's fucking bad. Ah, and I don't know what to tell you. Um, but you know, you know, if you want to find a hospital or doctors who will work for free, by all means, do that. 
But in the real world where shit costs money and nothing's fucking free, suck a dick. I'm sure she's had more than her fair share. Well, if you suck more dicks, it would be less abortions. That's very true. Just saying. I mean, you don't have to abort your children if you swallow them. It's just rule of thumb. You just absorb them. (laughs) During the pandemic, did you support people's right to not get the COVID vaccine? Uh oh. Uh-huh. <laughs> that is the face of a woman who knows that she just got caught in a double standard. Well, the thing is, is a lot of women who think emotionally like her will always get outmaneuvered by the calm, rational person. And I talk about this in my yeah. book all the time. I've I've had abortion debates with leftoids, and it's it never ends well for them, and they always wind up hating my guts. Here we go. Yeah, see, that's the face that she usually makes about 48 hours before she needs to get the Plan B pill. (laughs) It's a difficult conversation. Do you support bodily autonomy in other situations? For example, the COVID vaccine mandates. The the vaccine mandates, we've been mandated to get vaccines for years and years. Actually, no, no, we haven't. No, we haven't. No. I mean, schools can try to say that they won't let you in or whatever. All you need is a medical waiver. Boom, you're done. Or, Or you file a lawsuit. There you go. People in California stand have been doing it for years. That's why there were outbreaks of things like measles and uh, polio. Oh, and, and, and oh, the, the bubonic plague. Yeah, I was going to say black death. <laughs> years and years. So you do support in that situation people not having control of their bodies. That's not That's not having not control of your bodies. Uh, it's what, exactly what, are, what it what is. What are you talking about? If somebody is injecting something into your body against your will... You don't have control. Yeah. If you wouldn't ordinarily choose that and it is forced upon you by, say, I don't know, threat of losing your job, being unable to participate in society, go out and get a meal, then I would call I... that coercion. There is not a single legal contract on this planet that would not be nullified by coercion. By coercion. But here's another thing. Say she has a boss. And he wants to put something in her body that she doesn't want put in her body. But yet he does it anyway. But it's during a pandemic, so it's okay. No, it's totally okay. Get the fuck out of here. Piss off. Get the fuck out of here. I cannot believe. I mean, this is the stupidity. Oh, God, I wish I could just find where they're <laughs> well, they're just producing these idiots and assholes. Uh, what always cracks me up is when they try to justify the double standard. The first chick was just like, it's irrelevant. And all of a sudden it's like, oh, um, uh, uh, and then the chick behind her had to chime in with something that didn't make sense, didn't make any sense at all. So. Either it applies across the board or it shouldn't apply at all. Exactly. It's like, I don't understand. You don't understand because you're dumb. Well, yeah, she doesn't understand because she is. You can obviously see this is one of the people that would have narked on uh, and Frank and Frank, and uh, the, apparently she left her uh, her pink pussy hat at home. Yep. You think it is important for people to have medical? And- oh God, what is this? The amazing Jonathan got a sex change. It's Pat. Oh my Lanta. And health control of their own body. Uh, yeah, it's good for them. It's good for everybody. How is that good? How are abortions good for them and good for everybody? All right, now I'm gonna. T- okay. You notice all the people who talk like this have been born. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I might be you know, might be in the wrong ballpark. That's but kind, say, maybe. I mean, it's kind of a, a, a skewed uh, <laughs> opinion there. You know? <laughs> You're born, so you have a say. In- it's a, you're a little bit. Uh, you would think that you would be kind of geared in the other direction. Maybe you're thinking meat isn't and wired here, correctly. Here's another thing saying. here. All right. Now, listen. Women have 24 to 25 different forms of birth control to include the morning after pill. Not to mention they throw all these fits about, uh, you know, free bleeding and <laughs> this crap about uh, – Tampon poor, what, whatever oh, else they're yeah, bitching about. Period like. poverty. We actually did a whole video yeah. on it. So they know if the bill doesn't show up at the end of the month, something is up. And guess what? You could go right to the store and pee in a stick to find out and get the morning after pill. Yeah. Okay. Granted. Or better yet, you're at the uh, discotheque. 
you're eat, you're you're eating mushrooms, taking some of this crazy uh, you know disco drug stuff, and you wind up getting bent over by the you know the bar. And it's yeah. out of view of the security camera, so it's all good. And you go home, and the next morning you wake up, and you're like, what happened? Oh, no, no. I think I might have had sex. You go to the store. It's a little sticky. You get the morning after pill. You don't have to murder anything. You don't even have to do that. Women for centuries drank abortifacient teas. They still make them. Yeah. You can drink them regularly if you are sexually active, and most of the time it'll do the trick. Unless the dude's got really strong swimmers and you're a fertile myrtle, which does happen. I I actually know a friend of mine who who got pregnant off a one-time accidental insertion. Not even to completion. I don't even know what the hell was going on. That was a commando sperm right there. That was, yeah. There's like three sperms on the end. Take us in, Johnny! (laughs) (laughs) There's like three sperms just barreling in there, and then her eggs is just like, like, fucking John. Well, I guess we gotta get him. (laughs) Rope that shit. Cover me while I move! I'm almost there. <laughs> na, 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 na. <laughs> it's like the ultimate <laughs> Hail Mary pass. It is. Oh, my God. Insane in the membrane. Yeah, but Support the, the oh, oh, sorry. What I'm trying to say, in today's day and age, with all the technology we have, the only thing that makes this such a horrible uh, problem is the fact that women do not want to accept accountability for their actions. That's really all it is. And that's why they've had to do the blame and shame thing by insisting that we have reproductive rights that we don't have and bodily autonomy that we don't have. Uh-huh. And then, again, while the same blame establishment parrots all of their talking points, insisting that they're marginalized by this in some way, when obviously they're not. They're privileged. Yeah. That, well, yeah. I would. St- that's definitely a definition of privilege. Yeah. And if you don't like it, if, well, yeah. then, uh, then don't really care because the truth is not an insult. Reality is not an attack. In fact, don't give a fuck about your feelings. Let's move on. All right. And bitch. I did. I do support the mandates. Yeah. Isn't that mandate that people have to get the vaccine? So All right. They don't stop have it right here. Them? How old do you think this individual is right here? Uh, I don't. I don't know. Mid twenties. Yeah, mid mid twenties. Yeah. I wouldn't put them at, you know, anything more higher than... More than 20. 27, maybe? Ah, so guess what? What you're seeing right there is a prime example of why you need to have a goddamn father in the home. And why some mothers should just swallow. Yeah. Like, back in the day, in the 80s and early 90s, yes, there was a lot of divorces, but there's still, you know were men out there who were involved in their children and there wasn't as many divorces for the most part. We didn't th- we didn't have this. And this yeah. is like literally we're we're having men raised by women and they're turning out to be women. Yep. And they claim that the problem is toxic masculinity. Sorry, if that were true, the children raised by single mothers would be excelling in every area instead of well, the only areas they excel in tend to be uh, suicide, drug addiction, crime. Oh, you got to, you know, they're free uh, uh, lease at mental prison. Mental illness. Yeah. Yeah, they 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 overwhelm the prison system. Yep. 85% of the people and in prison didn't shooters. have a father at home. Mass shooters. Yeah, yeah. mass shooters, because a lot of them, most of them are gang members, and those historically come from broken homes. There you go. Yeah, 80% of all gun homicides are drug-related. And guess where most of the druggies come from? You do the math. Yeah. Let's get back to the amazing Jonathan's disgusting doppelganger. Their own body? Uh, Vaccinations are good for people. I thought he said that abortions were good for everybody. And then he's trying to justify not having bodily autonomy by saying vaccines are good for people. All right, now I'm make gonna, up your mind. Now listen, I uh, I am not an anti-vaxer. Okay, no. In the military, I got all kinds of vaccines. During the first Gulf War and then the redo, I was forced to take a, a FDA unapproved anthrax vaccine that came in a series of five painful, horrible shots. And they had all kinds of side effects. In fact, when I go to the VA, they usually hand me a little piece of paper and says, you have this, you have this, 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 this. And all of this stuff is shit that happens as a side effect of the anthrax vaccine. 
All right. I have a, and I was so fucking pissed because I didn't volunteer to defend this country to be its fucking guinea pig. Yeah. You already, I'm already signing over my, my life and my immortal soul to probably an officer who's incompetent at best to make life and death decisions over me. That's part of the game. Yep. What's not part of the game is to show up and go, hey, thanks for volunteering. Now you're a fucking guinea pig. <laughs> Watch Grunt Speak Live every Tuesday and Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern. And if you'd like to join Pop for Supporter Sundays, consider making a donation on Locals, Patreon, or Subscribestar.